Hi, this is Mick. So, uh, this is a tutorial uh, part one just of um, CNC setup. So, you received your new machine from Cam Masters. Um, what do you need to do next? In here, I have my uh, I have my C I have my um, mm -hmm. my computer. Uh, down here, I have my um, control box with the uh, there it is with the Z touchpad installed. Um, on the other side of the control box is the uh, is the emergency uh, e stop on off switch and a 25 pin cable that hooks up to the back of a computer via uh, the Win CNC PCI card so once you get everything hooked up what do you do next so let's go over some basic stuff first well actually let me put on the power first so just flip the power to on you can hear the fans come in So let's go over some basic stuff. Um, I'll get back to you in a minute. Okay, back again. So I just put the um, uh, the, the camcorder on a tripod, and I actually have a webcam pointing at the screen, so you can see what's going on. So I started up WinCNC uh, blank screen just started the program we have power on the the CNC controller so what has to be done every time is to click on initialize when I click on initialize this will lift the the router you'll see lift the router up uh, touch the limit switch and then we can talk further so there we go This has to be done because the machine doesn't know its coordinates. It's all, it's basically just a dead machine. So, when CNC and Cam Masters, they have a button called Initialize. Some people call it Home. Some people have no buttons and they type in G28Z or G28X, G28Y. Um, it all does the same job. If you do do it by code, type in G28Z first. You don't want it moving across the table because you might hit something. So, as you can see, um, the machine is home. We're ready to go. It automatically goes. I have uh, no green boxes or blue boxes. We'll talk about that later. So, this position X. Zero, uh, y zero Z zero is the home position. It's the machine home position. Um, this lower left hand corner um, is the position. If you have no boxes, um, this is the position it will go to. So if I jog the machine using the keyboard, or I'll just let me use these, and that way you can see it. So I just move the position and I say go to X0, Y0. So here's the router, the red circle, it'll travel to this lower left hand corner. There it goes. So that is the home position. Okay, let's have a look at some basics of the CNC itself. Let me take my keyboard, which you can also operate. I have a wireless keyboard. So, left and right of the router is the X axis. Just use the left and right arrow keys. Forwards and backwards is the Y axis. You can also use the arrow keys. 
and the router up, and down, you use page up, page down. Um, some basics. The Capmaster comes equipped with limit switches. Here is a limit switch. On the other side is a limit switch for the Z, and underneath and underneath the table is a limit switch for Y. If you ever hit a limit switch, so we'll look on the screen. I'm going to jog. Well, actually, I'll do it on the screen. I'm just going to go Z up, but not pay any attention. Okay. I'm going to go across to the left. So you can do everything with the um, with the with the screen or with the keypad. It doesn't make any difference. So we go back to the machine again. This has a laser, a precision laser for um, lining up your wood. It has a standard. Um, Two and a half inch, two and a half horsepower router. Um, it has a full length measuring switch. A lot of machines have different switches. Um, I'll go into that later. Other than that, uh, that is the general idea. Here is a, a hookup for a dust collection system and. This is what they call the spoil board. It's a sacrificial board. Um, we'll go into that in the next video, the next tutorial, and explain what it does and why you need it. Okay, thanks. Back soon. Bye.